Hi, how do you feel today? How was the preparation part? We have around 30 minutes to have the nice conversation. And uh, my name is Inga Glaisdane. I'm lecturer here at SSE Riga. I'm teaching human resource management course, organization and management and business and leadership skills. And together with my colleague, uh, we would like to hear your case analysis. And a second part, we would look forward to hearing more about you and have a conversation where also you could ask a question to us. Okay, we can start. Yes, you guessed right. If everything goes great, then this is exactly the type of conversation we would have to, uh, with you in SSC Riga admission interview. Today, I would like to share with you three parts that might help you to prepare for this event. First of all, I will guide you through the process so that you would remove all the ex uh, anxiety about what will happen there and you would just do your best in terms of the content. Second part, I will share on the type of the questions we might ask you. I will share with you some tips, maybe how you can prepare for that. So on the content of the interview. And third thing, some technicalities. So that again, you would feel comfortable and show us who you are without any um, unnecessary uh, stress. So first of all, if you will be there coming to the meeting with us, that means that you have done an excellent job in tests. Congratulations, we are very, very happy about you. You should also be very happy about you. And that means that you have everything what it takes in terms of knowledge and your academic performance to become a SSE Riga student. So congratulations, feel proud about that, and confidence, take some confidence from this feeling. And then the second step, the interview, that's for you to get to know more us and for us to get to more know about you. And to figure out whether you will feel comfortable, whether you will be successful during the three-year study here at SSC Riga. So you have received a note, invitation to a particular time when you should log in uh, from your laptop in, in the indicated place. And at that moment, your interview process starts. What would happen, you would receive case, case uh, analysis is the first part. And to know more about case analysis, please watch another video by my colleague Yuri Romanenko. He'll share, again, insight on how to prepare for that. So please arrive on time, start your case analysis. You have one and a half hour to prepare that. And once you are ready, you should go to Zoom link. We will meet electronically over the video. In case you haven't tried case analysis before, in case if you haven't tried um, meeting in Zoom, I would suggest you to try it out. Again, just to re remove any questions that might appear. Uh, but otherwise, technically, that would, would be quite easy. Um, from etiquette point of view, please be on time. That's indicated for you to meet the examiners because we have really plan this time for you. Otherwise, if you are not there, we are not sure if you will be there at all. And more importantly, you are just removing the time from the time slot available for you. So we would just have a shorter conversation. So be there and I will, or my colleagues, we will meet you there as I just played out the scene. So once the interview process would start, we would start actually with the case study. And the reason why, because you, are, you would be for one and a half year, uh, hour already into the case analysis. You would be somewhat stressed. So we would like to invite you to breathe in, breathe out, and show us your case analysis. Uh, be ready to present. We will just say, hey, tell us, how did you find the case? And tell your solutions and findings. So be ready to lead the discussion on case. At the same time, we really like to ask questions. We like to have conversation with you. So be ready also to respond to the questions that me, we might ask you. So be flexible. Uh, let's create a conversation than just, you know, one person presentation. But again, more on the cases, you can watch on another video by Yuri. Once we have finished the case analysis, 
we would be two interviewers there. We would kindly invite you to step out of the shoes of protagonist and step back into your own shoes. Um, we might have around 15 minutes left, maybe 10 minutes left, depending upon how and what you say is during the present, uh, case analysis presentation. And at that moment, we would start a free format conversation. What we want to know and why the interviews are there, we would like to know who you are as a person, who stands behind the printed out portfolio with behind all the diplomas or, or all the indications of your grades. We want to know more about you. So that's what you could prepare for. If you want to read more on that, job interviews are a great, job interview tips and tricks are a great source that you can check. You can find there what type of questions might be asked. Um, at the same time, also some videos on uh, uh, university admissions might be useful. Overall, we will ask you quite a lot of open-ended questions. It will be, please tell us who you are, or please tell us about your interests, or please tell us why do you want to study at SSC Riga? That's one of the key things we want to find out, why you want to study here at SSC Riga. Another thing that we are really looking into in the, the, your answers and our conversation is why do you think that you will be doing great if you will be admitted at SSC Riga. Despite which university you choose, I assume that you will choose university where you have to study a lot, right? And SSC Riga, you know that, is one of those places. So what we would be looking forward is, why do you think that you will do great also at the moment when going gets tough? Can you tell us how you will motivate yourself at those moments? Because those moments will come at some point. But also not in terms of only the discipline that maybe you are great at, but also in terms of positive motivation. Because what we are looking for here is so that you would also enjoy the three-year journey here. So how you would twist around the tough, going tough, in a positive way and motivate yourself with a positive connotation. Maybe it's through the friends that you think that you would get there, maybe through some other activities outside the university part. What will help you to actually enjoy this journey? So that would be the type of the question I would ask you. So tell me, how do you think why you would be one of the greatest SSC Riga students throughout the period here? We also might ask you, hey, um, how do you think? What type of SSC Riga alumni would you be? And I know that these future questions are very, very tough and difficult. At the same time, it's just a question of um, finding out how you're thinking, what you're thinking about, what you're not thinking about. If you ask me what we get out of the questions, we get out of the questions the feeling about you, your personal qualities, your competencies, your skills, and also your mindfulness. There are no right or wrong answers, as is typically told. At the same time, there are answers that might indicate that you would have strengths that will make it this journey easier for you, or it might indicate that you might have challenges and troubles with one aspect or the other aspect. And what we would do as an interviewer is we would afterwards then ask you more about those concerning points, so that both we and you are sure that this will be the right place for you to uh, be admitted, to join, but most importantly, so that you would also graduate university after three years with a pleasant feeling um, and also with a pleasant journey behind you. So in terms of the questions uh, during the interviews, uh, we would ask you free format. Um, you could definitely ask also questions to us. Uh, once again, always interviews are both ways. Uh, this will be your opportunity to reflect on the case analysis case analysis preparation and discussion with the faculty members and staff members during the interview, and also the conversation type that we are having. So we hope that you will figure out that, yes, this type of learning, this type of communication is what I like for my university years to come. On the final part regarding the interviews, um, some of you have asked us, uh, shall you uh, include your extracurricular activity, accomplishment, or experiences also in your portfolio? And the answer is yes. That again tells us something more about you. So on the last um, note for the interview, I would say be ready to share with us your past experience 
And not only in terms of the facts and numbers and uh, accomplishments, but we, what we are looking for is what you have learned during that period, what you liked, what you didn't like. Again, to give us an insight on who you are as the person. So be ready to reflect also on your uh, life up till now. Sounds easy? Sounds difficult? Well, it depends. The most important, be truthful. You might prepare, you might read, but remember that the person who is interviewing you most likely has had several tens and hundreds, and our rector, I think he has had around a thousand admission interviews already behind him. So we feel very quickly if you start giving us uh, very trained or, or learned answers. So what we are looking forward is really authenticity. So please be mindful on that. Um, show who you are, and uh, I think we will find a great uh, way how to study together afterwards. So thank you very much. We hope that you will enjoy the process and not be too stressed. If you get stressed at any moment, uh, please know yourself and control either through breathing or just smiling or thinking positively. Remove everything that could distract you from bringing and sh showing us the best part of yourself. So breathe in, breathe out, smile, be confident, and have a nice conversation for us. Thank you, and looking forward to meet you in the SSC Riga admission interviews.